All right, we are here in a Garden Spot Country. We're talking with senior Jordan Shoebridge, who uh, it's been a pretty good month for him, and we will get to all of that. But uh, I want to congratulate you guys on um, a great start to the district playoffs. Uh, why don't you just tell us kind of the feeling it was to get that uh, monumental district playoff win. It hasn't happened in quite some time. Yeah, uh, I felt amazing actually. Like last year, you know, we didn't we didn't get the results we wanted from districts and we couldn't make it to state. So like, getting it this year, like it felt really good. And we set like team goals for ourselves in like, the beginning of the year. Like we wanted to make it to state team. Like we wanted to push ourselves and like get to the state uh, playoff level. So having that opportunity like really like was amazing. Yeah. It seems like you guys have a really nice close team. How many seniors are on this team, by the way? We have like four, like four maybe. Okay, yeah, four so seniors playing on our team. The four nucleus that we all yeah. know, it's you, Javi, Keontae. No, Keontae is a junior. Uh, it's like me, it's me, Hav, Jacob, and Jacob. Cameron. You guys have had such a an up and down season. We know we were here in the preseason talking to you guys. A lot of hype. You guys were excited, trying to challenge for that Section Two title. But there were so many good Section Two teams. LL tournament had some good moments and also ran up against some good teams. Started the district playoff off well. So in general, how would you look back at your season and kind of what you take away from Garden Spots year this year? Well, I thought like this year, like something that really stood out to me is how we came back from adversity. Because last year we really struggled that in the beginning, like we couldn't quite get over the hump, which like killed us in the end, like trying to make leagues and stuff. And this year we actually like fought through adversity and actually had the chance to play in leagues, which was awesome for me because my last year playing. So I mean that was a great experience as well. So I think the most like exclamation point of the season was how we got through adversity. So yeah, you guys have a, a pretty good group here, and you guys play with a certain attitude and a mindset. Can you talk to us about, is that something coaches kind of instilled in you, or is that something the players bring? Just how we, like, how we play. Like, we always play, like, fast. Like, you got to push the ball, push the ball, push the ball. And, and, and uh, Coach Shoot kind of, like, bought into that. So we, that was just our, like, offensive mentality. Just push the ball, push the ball, fast, fast. And, like, we're really good at that, so we keep doing it. So you guys almost more forced his hand than anything. I like that. That's really cool. Um, as you've gone along, and now you've played so many years on varsity. We were just talking about beginning of the year around 600 total points, and you chased this 1,000 point milestone, which is this career defining mark for everybody in high school these days. What was the feeling like as the season started? You knew you were in the 600s, and then as you got close to this 1,000, how was that? How was the pressure and, and kind of how did you handle it all? I mean, like in the beginning of the year, I never thought I would like be that close, like 22 points away from a thousand, like because I wouldn't, I, like, I didn't think we were gonna get this far in playoffs. But like, I couldn't have done it without my teammates. Like my teammates kept pushing me. It was like George shoot the ball, George shoot the ball. And, like Keontae always pushed me, and, and Hobbs and Jake always pushed me to to shoot the ball. So that's what I did, and eventually I got there. So the feeling was incredible, though. I couldn't describe it. Yeah, talk to me about it, because I mean, you guys not only get a big win in districts, but you were chasing a thousand, and then you get it. What was that like for you? I mean, that's got to be a huge sense of accomplishment for a senior that's your, basically your high school career will end after the basically what March. Yeah, I was, like, like during the Dover game when I shot the foul shot and I made it, like I just heard so everyone screaming. I wasn't really thinking about it. I was like, oh, I guess I guess I just hit a thousand. <laughs> and so I was just like, I just looked at my mom and she was coming up a big sign. I was like, all right, I guess I just hit a thousand. So I just want to get that dub and uh, go to states because like that was just like that's the most important on everything. Like actually getting my thousand and going to states, like, like there's not a better feeling than that. So yeah, congratulations to you and just the whole team. I mean, that's just an amazing accomplishment. One last question or maybe one or two um, now you guys are headed to states you have the district playoffs still to finish when you look back at your senior year what do you think and are you going on to the next level to play somewhere else for college yeah I'm, I'm, I'm going on, I'm going to the next play I'm going to the next level to play somewhere else but I quite I don't know where yet okay I'm just trying to figure that out I'm talking to some coaches but like when I look back at my season I just want to remember how much fun I had with these guys and just like because I know, I guarantee you, I'm going to miss this season. I'm going to miss playing with these guys. So I'll, I'll be back to watch the game and stuff, but I'm going to miss playing. And... Awesome. I do have one more question. You led the LL in three-pointers made. Uh, how, how were you able to do that? And, and, and again, what does that mean to you? Um, well, you gave me a green light since freshman year, so I mean, I kind of like, kind of got that shooter mentality and just like, I, like, I don't really think when I shoot, I just shoot. And I just let it fly, so I mean, I, most of them went in, so. That's kind of how I got there. I wasn't really thinking about I didn't even know I had the most threes in the LL, but 
Yeah, we've been tracking it all year, and, and you're over 50, approaching 60, so or maybe even over it at that point. So, again, congratulations Thank on you. the win. States, 1,000 points. What a great senior year for you and your guys, and uh, we're just excited to see what you guys can do here as the playoffs continue, and best of luck to Garden Spot. Thank you. Thanks for coming on the show. We're going to take a break. We'll take a little bit here, and uh, when we come back, more great conversations on Let's Talk, so stay with us.